Live look now at the Fulton County Courthouse as we await Fonnie Willis's response. Nathan Wade's as well after the judge ruled that she can continue to lead the Trump election interference case. Well, that appears to be a victory for Willis. Many more challenges lie ahead. And even liberal media members say this ruling is incredibly damaging for her. They have survived, but not without substantial damage. I mean, there is some really stark language in this ruling. The lack of judgment shown here. Uh, it's just absolutely stunning. It just feels like this is not good. Let's bring in Andy McCarthy, Fox News contributor and former assistant U.S. attorney. So it's not the victory that Trump's uh, legal team was looking for. They wanted her removed from the case. But, but in many ways, even though she gets to stay while Nathan Wade has to be booted, th this case would seem to be indelibly tainted, Andy. Yeah, that's right. I didn't have Tennessee Williams on my reading list this morning, John. <laughs> but when they're saying the odor of mendacity and they're yeah. talking about you, that is not a good day, mm -mm. Uh, especially if you're the prosecutor on the case. And I, I actually think this is a huge win for Trump, uh, maybe more than he realizes, because mm -hmm. she is tainted. Um, she's lost the confidence of the court. It's possible this could be appealed, which could result in more delay. And I think it underscores what I've been trying to say since we first saw this sprawling indictment, which is I don't think they're very competent. Yeah. So this may not be the end of Willis's problems either, because here's what Judge McAfee wrote in part in his order. Other forums or sources of authority, such as the General Assembly, the Georgia State Ethics Commission, the State Bar of Georgia, the Fulton County Board of Commissioners, or the voters of Fulton County, may offer feedback on any unanswered questions that linger uh, from this case. I mean, there's a lot of things that could happen here, including a big investigation by the Senate in Georgia. The governor could also appoint a special prosecutor, as could the attorney general in the state. Yeah, I think the judge makes a couple of mistakes there, though. First mm -hmm. of all, the word that you, you uh, highlighted there, linger, mm -hmm. is the issue. You know, you were talking before about, uh, you know, the perception of crime. Yeah. Um, in the legal system, what we're talking about is the perception of impropriety. If there are lingering questions about her, the judge is responsible for the integrity of the proceeding. And that's the reason you get rid of her, because her continued participation in it undermines the legitimacy of the tribunal. And the other thing, John, is I think in that laundry list of uh, potential uh, investigations of her by these different bodies, he left out prosecutors. Yeah. And, you know, they could be the subject of criminal investigations by both state prosecutors and federal prosecutors on grounds of potential fraud, on grounds of potential perjury. Mm -hmm. So she's got a lot of problems. You know, you mentioned the word taint. Now, former President Trump is bringing that up in conjunction with the Alvin Bragg case on the hush money payment. That case has been delayed for 30 days while Bragg's office has to produce more documents. Here's what the former president said about that on X. He said, uh, on Truth Social, rather. He said, the things that took place at the Manhattan DA's office in conjunction with people from the DOJ put in charge of, quote, getting Trump, are truly a sight to behold. They illegally withheld thousands of pages of documents. Then you have the really shady Pomerantz issue. And wow, people have never seen anything like this one. This will make Fadi and her lover look like small potatoes. Mark Pomerantz was an attorney <laughs> for Hillary Clinton back in 2016. He joined the Manhattan DA's office when Cyrus Vance was DA. He stayed there when Bragg came. He was determined to get a prosecution of Trump and quit after Bragg initially refused to prosecute Trump. He then wrote a book about the whole thing, which is now out there for all to see. Now, I haven't read the book, but, but I have read his letter of resignation, which was published in the New York Times, and a letter that Jim Jordan sent to Pomerantz demanding that he appear before Congress. Uh, the Trump camp says that he, quote, unfairly disparaged the former president. And then there's all sorts of evidence of what might be malfeasance in the prosecutor's office associated with this. But, you know, the, the, the taint of politics and pressure is all over so many of these cases. Yeah, and it's actually worse than that, I think, John, if, it's that, if that's possible. Because the case Pomerantz wanted to bring was not this ridiculous Stormy Daniels hush money case. It was the big fraud case. Mm -hmm. And when he didn't, br when Bragg wouldn't bring that after the federal prosecutors wouldn't bring it and Cyrus Vance, Bragg's predecessor, wouldn't bring mm -hmm. it, Tish James, the attorney general, scooped it up and she tried it as a civil case. 
And she got such plaudits from anti-Trump progressives and Democrats that I think Bragg then went back and he he ended up indicting this dog's breakfast of a Stormy Jan Daniels case, which involves something that happened seven years ago that, as, as we're seeing this week, they still couldn't even get their discovery together. He, they, they basically dumped over 100,000 documents on Trump uh, on the eve of trial for something that happened seven years ago that should have been a misdemeanor that he's trying to carve into 34 felonies, Bragg is. So um, it's a mess. Well, that case was supposed to start on March the 25th. It's been pushed back now until at least the end of April. So we'll keep watching at all least. of this. Glad we've got you on board for it. Andy McCarthy, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Thanks, John. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.